as a soldier putting on the uniform, I want to do my job, I want to go overseas, I want to serve my country. I think it was the adventure, trying to figure out if I could do it, kind of proved myself that I could. I use the analogy that it's sort of like uh, being stuck in first year university and having the opportunity to go right to you know, graduate level studies, to really put into practice what you are practicing as a reservist. I was a university student at the University of Calgary. Uh, several well-known members of the Calgary Highlanders recruiting cell at the time got their hooks into me. Not sure at this point. IED, RPG went out short. And they asked me if I'd rather be part of foreign policy and part of the real world instead of sitting in an academic classroom and talking about it. And I jumped at the opportunity. Go back, grab uh, two more guys at least. My brain bucket out of my room. It's far side of my cot and then we'll go investigate. And then when I found uh, most of the, my friends in the regiment were going, I kind of felt compelled to go. Uh, my parents didn't like it at all. Doc! As my sister told me she had a dream where I died. I thought it was going to be a running gunfight for six months straight. <laughs> Instead, I found it to be pretty hot, dusty, and boring. Uh, you don't actually expect or think of you know anything bad happening until you actually experience it. I think the first time I saw someone blow themselves up, that definitely, it rattled me a bit. Bad luck on our part. Um, we were out doing a patrol. Uh, we had uh, Michelle Lang with us. Uh, she was a Calgary Herald uh, reporter. An IED that uh, hit our column in Kandahar City in 2008 is definitely a very clear day. Um, the Kabul attacks, being on the roof of the embassy with RPGs impacting in 2012, was also a very clear day. The, the time we got IED, that was probably the most scary, exciting time. Send us out another vehicle to be the rear. Bad things happened that day. In the time it takes you to come around a wall overseas with your gun up, you learn more about yourself than you do in four years of academic discourse. Hey, Tony, how you doing for ammo? And even though I didn't do four years of academic discourse, I still stand by that statement. I just won't forget the feeling of after it happened, like there's nothing could, like you just feel euphoria, like you made it, like you know you probably should have been dead, but you were lucky. It's hard to explain, but that was a good feeling after the fact. Hey, get behind something now. We got airburst 200 meters drop. Shut up. Here it comes. From a military point of view, it was the best years of my life. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people that have served can understand that. I would never trade any of the time I spent with, you know, my brothers in arms, my friends. The outstanding members of the team are my brothers and sisters forever. It was a good experience for sure. I think it made me a lot more responsible, especially when you feel like you could be responsible for someone else. I think I understand sort of 
how lucky we are to be living in Canada. I don't think people really understand and take it for granted, but it's a lot worse than other parts of the world and I think everybody should be thankful to be here. And so that you can proudly show off to anybody who comes to see uh, this unit, we have the unit accommodation flag. Fly it and great.